Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a 4th of July project that I did uh, that recently Tim Holt posted on his blog. It's called the Patriotic Rosette Ribbon and I love every minute of it when I was doing it. It, it is an awesome little project. Uh, and you have to have several things uh, that you might need to do this little project. But overall, I'm very happy with it. I really liked it. I enjoy it. And I want to show you what I did. Now, he posted uh, June 24th, which was yesterday. Uh, he was working on his studio, making this Petrari Crosette ribbon. Of course, his is spectacular, like always. So I want to go ahead and do something really close, really similar, because actually for this project, I had everything except several things. I'm going to tell you which ones. I had my little patriotic flag here. Can't wait for 4th of July. It's really nice. So anyways, let me make a little close-up of this because it's a small little canvas. It's not that big. I would say it's a... Let's measure it. This will be 5 by four very small little canvas that I cut out um, what is in, is involved in this little project well we got the famous Tim Holtz rosettes here um, he used his big rosette I have the mini rosette so obviously I had to go a little bit smaller uh, because this is the let me explain you something. When you get Tim Holtz Rosettes dies, there's two. There's the big rosette and there's the mini rosette. The mini rosettes bring two and the big one brings one. The, the two that brings the die, there's a big one and a small little rosette. So this is the big, big rosette. <laughs> Sorry I had to explain that because if you don't know, you know, Tim Holtz dies, then you might not understand what I'm saying. So there was you know I use tissue team holes tape I used glitter I used um, his um, his obviously his 4th of July paper I used his labels his chit chat little banners um, what else do we use we use the Distress paint, the picket fence, which is somewhere around here. Yeah, let me let me show you which one it was. Is the distress paint, picket fence? See, focus, picket fence. Yeah, there we go. I use picket fence, and uh, made my star. It's a golden star. I believe he used his own little probably it was like silver but I thought I would go with the gold because gold is always you know the best is the best the best the best color for something like this so it however he used um, this little thing I don't know what he calls it uh, let me check really quick it's called the tinsel twine this is not really his tinsel twine this is something I had a long time ago um, for you know those little kid projects that you get let me show you what they are I guess they're called tinsel twines and they come in packages like this and I found this somewhere and I remember I had it because I have another type of tinsel twine but which is more similar to his but it has red and silver but these came very handy today and I just found them because I remember buying this for my son doing a project a long time ago so that's what I use as what he calls the tinsel twine I I am in love with this little canvas and I hope you really like it 
Um, I can stress saying that his little projects are awesome and uh, this is something that he did and I wanted to follow and this is my what you call it the patriotic reset and mine says peace always forever in his he put the words freedom American and liberty but I just discovered that maybe I'm wrong or not but in his chit chat little booklet that you get this little chit chat thingies which is this um I I barely have used this and I went through the whole book from you know you got whites and you got craft color and I went through it and I didn't find those words freedom American and livery I must I, I I have to assume that this chit chat books comes with different sentiments and different words it has to be because I went through it over and over thinking you know that I would miss but then the best way to look for the words after reading it several times was going with the ruler one by one and I didn't find those words so you know maybe it's a good thing for you to know that uh, but overall guys I really love this if you want to see this better go check out my blog I will post about this and I have picture on my Instagram and I have a picture on Pinterest so go ahead and check it out and if you like what you see please rate comment and subscribe and thanks for watching goodbye